So we got a call for four Jeeps that are on the barracks trail. And this call actually came in last night. They called search and rescue. There was 18 of them in the Jeeps. So search and rescue went and got all the people out. And today we're going in to get the Jeeps. Four Jeeps, all different levels. One rental Jeep and three built Jeeps. All right, we are on our way. We've been out in this area many, many times before. I don't know if we can even find the old footage. Oh, we did rescue Rudy out here once a long yes, time ago in Banana Split. So we've got a pretty long drive in to where we're going and we don't know the way super good. Yes, we do. So we're following Matt to the Jeeps that we gotta get out at the barracks trail. Matt's entrusted me with his special guests. <laughs> we got Chad here. Howdy. And Dusty. Dusty. And then Rhett and Jonah in the back seats. So far it's gonna, it's been an interesting ride and it should be a good one. Yeah. yeah. We don't have any keys for any of the Jeeps. They're all back at the shop. Matt said he told me to put them in a camera case. I did not hear that. I did not put them in the camera case. I didn't put them in my kangaroo pouch. They're all sitting on that white plastic shelf in the shop with the food. What? The engine blew up. This long day just got longer. Oh, this is like normal life for us. Who's back at the shop? Russell. I'm gonna send you back to meet him so I would drive until you meet him, okay? That's gonna be the fastest. So I'm gonna drive forward because that's the way to sell service. Okay, and you're gonna call him. All right, you guys ready to roll? Yep. All right, let's air this baby out. I'm in some serious trouble here. Everybody watch your phones. Oh, come on, come on. I had it. Oh, there I am. Hey, on that, on the bookshelf, there's four keys to four Jeeps. You can't miss them, they're just sitting there. There's a pile of keys the size of a, of a softball. Those keys need to be driven to the cane beds road. Hefe's gonna meet you there. As fast as you safely and lawfully can, you need to get there. Okay, we're gonna just keep driving in. Hefe's gonna go back for keys. Meet me there. Okay, sounds great. Okay, see you in a minute. We're still just moseying on in. I would just hurry because we are, we are racing nightfall. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. So we've made contact with Russell at the shop. He's bringing the keys out. Hefe is uh, heading back there to meet with them and then come in. That's going to put them behind us oh, probably an hour and a half. But we've decided we're just going to keep moseying on in here and Why are we situation. doing that? I don't, know. I don't know. We can go figure out the best way to tie them up and drag them out. Yeah. Or something. So, Tom was put in charge of the keys. I want you to leave a comment on what Tom's punishment should be for not bringing the keys. Be nice, YouTube. We'll take the best punishment. We will meter it out and show you. I'd be worried. It can't involve the guillotine. Oh. It sheared the cans in half. <laughs> <laughs> so
so as we're driving out here, I headed to the vehicles that we don't have keys for. I know I don't have the keys. I'm not going to be surprised when I get there. Makes me think about when Rory forgot the customer's keys, left them back at the shop. Um, no key. No, they're at the shop in the mailbox where they told me they dropped them off this morning. Makes me feel a little bit better. Thanks, Rory. I completely agree. So I'm guessing about now that Hefe is crossing the Utah to Arizona border headed out to the highway to meet Russell and those guys and I'm guessing that Russell and those guys are mm, just at the top of the hurricane hill so if that kind of progress has been made we're in good shape we're not going as fast as we could we're just there's no real reason to but we are racing uh, the night because that's coming it's come every day in my life so far I expect it's gonna do the same today it should. Huh. Yeah. How long have we been on the trail? Oh, uh, let's see. What did we say? 135? Not quite an hour. 221. That would be awesome. What's up, good <laughs> sir? Brought you your keys you forgot. I didn't oh, forget them. Nice. <laughs> well, thank okay. you. You guys are a lifesaver. Uh, I'm theorizing that Hefe has the keys now and he's headed back. We have the keys. We are probably less than. 20 minutes, maybe 15 to 20 minutes from the Jeeps. We're just gonna get here, look around and wait. And we're still feeling like an hour and a half waits about, right? I think so. All right, we're all loaded up, back in the banana. Time to make the trip again. So we're gonna go try and find Matt. He is in cell service, so worst case scenario, we'll get into cell service and call him. That's not one of our Jeeps, is it? I don't think so. Yeah, it's slick right here. Woo! I just accidentally schooled these guys. Was that the right route to take? All right, we got back to where we were. It took us about an hour, and now we gotta go find Matt. Yeah, they are blocking the blocking the route for sure. But that's only there's still one more. Jeep. There's still one more. Yep. I don't know why they didn't move this one. It's not stuck. This doesn't look bad to come up, and I think this is the hill they were worried about coming up. Where's the other Jeep at? It's still down there. Yeah. Wow. I'm afraid I'm gonna fall. You're gonna really regret wearing that coat when we start hiking back up this hill. I am not going to regret it. Not one little bit. Some earbuds. We ran over them. Picking up some trash on the trail. I'm not seeing anything that would be hard to drive up. There it is right there. And it's not stuck either. And it's not in the way. I'm not, I'm not even going to walk down there. And that's the way out right there. Yep, you can see that road down there. So you're thinking down and out or back no, up? No, back out. Back out, because that's the way out. This is? There's, oh. there's about 25 river, river crossings. Oh, wow. Even though that way's longer to get back on good road, it's not bad. No. All these Jeeps can handle it. How long did it take us to get in there? Left at 1.30, we just arrived, 2.55. So now we're in 20 minutes. Okay. So we weren't we weren't flying. Do you think that Jeep will make it up this? Or yeah, have to no have problem. To Can you hear me on the radio? No. I don't think you're very close to us yet. Okay, we're gonna keep going. We're dropping down into a U-turn right now. Okay, you'll be fine. All right, we just were in phone contact with Hefe. He's getting close. We're coming to this sketchy part. I don't know if you really saw us come through it, but there was a trick to it. So we're coming over to help make sure that they make it, make it through okay. And if they get in trouble, we'll be able to throw a winch line to them. So this is the sketchy spot. Doesn't look like it on the camera, but that's quite steep. 
it's slick rock and it's covered with icy snow. What we did is we went quite wide. Those are our tracks up there, the high spot. And then just were able to drive right up on top of here. Um, when we got here, people are trying to come up through this spot and they're ending up having to winch off from things. All right, we should have filmed it, but I was just on the radio to Hefe. They're getting really close. He's super clear. I bet you he's half mile. So when he gets here, I'm going to have him let everybody out and see if I can walk him through this obstacle, see if he can do it without wrecking the banana. What if he does wreck the banana? <laughs> what are we going to do? Robbie will fix it. Whoa! Ow! That hurt. Did you pull muscle? Yeah. It's, it's an old injury that I sustained while doing a razor recovery not very long ago. Oh. Can I help you get out? I'm good. I'm gonna be okay. My shoulder's still not 100%. Oh yeah. That's about where it is right now. I've got to work on that. All right, we can hear him now. We, oh, I see him right there. They just poked right through the. I've got eyes on you. Right through the trees. All right, the proper procedure for coming up this is to hang high and right, and then come across. Hang, hang high and right. Uh, I'd like out. To start sliding, you're gonna want to get it pointed uphill because if you slide down, it'll roll when it hits this pile. Uh, can we jettison out? <laughs> Starts to swap ends. Make keep one end pointed uphill. Oh! 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 All right. We are How going are to change the channel. Half <laughs> is that out. <laughs> How was that right? How was that, Ryan? That was pretty cool. <laughs> Don't worry. If you fall, I'll catch you. Hey, we I'll have to... Okay. Matt thinks this is the best way to come off, too. So... Well, yeah, we gotta get the deep down this. I don't know how to get down here. Okay. back the Morver right here and then tie it off to that tree and then they swing in here and as soon as they stop right there we hook up to their back bumper and just ease them off this shoe yeah I think Who's the driver? The driver? you're the driver of this Jeep you wanted the stock one I just wanted the rental there you <laughs> go. Oh, there's the rental <laughs> Jamie's gonna take the Morver you'll take the banana Tom you're a driver okay what did I win? Okay. The farthest one down there. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna trot it out. Oh, okay. I've already I crossed think this enough. way, Tom. All right, Tom. You guys jumping in? <laughs> I'm gonna stand up at the top and watch you go up. I'm this, gonna stand out here to help you get turned around. All right. All right. Is that one of them diesel ones? I think it'll walk up this. Yeah. Here, I'm climbing in there with you so I can get warm. This is an interesting place to stop. 
Okay. So no, let's go good. put the we'll go put the more bear in position and start getting it geared up because even if this one will make it down, it's not the only one we've got to get down. didn't work. This way's honestly not too bad either. Just as long as you don't slide too far that way. I don't think so. Okay. Let's well. see how this one does. up high and then point it down and ride the lightning. Here we go. The peril is sliding into that bank kind of hard but I, that jeep just went down just fine. So just hang at, hang there as far as you can and when you feel like you're Turn it. when you yeah when you're like okay the back's gonna go if the front doesn't make the front go. <laughs> So just hang high to where you feel like, okay, the back end's gonna go, and then just turn it downhill. Don't use a lot of speed. I went down too fast, Dusty went down it too fast. How are you feeling about this, Chad? Well, I'm not super excited about it, somebody else's rig, but hey, that's why I wanted the rental. <laughs> Hopefully you got the insurance. <laughs> Turn hard, passenger, and back up. Okay, stop. Turn hard, driver, and, and crawl it. It's going good. Keep it hard, hard passenger or driver. Sorry, should be good. Just yeah, just keep it, keep it going there. Okay. That was uh oh. What was that? Chad. <laughs> what did he hit? The other Jeep. It just slid from there. Clear to here. 
Ah, you, you hit the hitch with the tail point on the front of this. Yeah, I don't think this happens very soon. Yes, it's not. So here's the damage. The, the receiver on that hit right here. So there's a little scuff in the plastic there and a little scuff from the bow shackle. So we'll talk to the rental place about that. Nothing happened to that at all because it was just recovery points. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. Okay, after that little fiasco with the most minimal of damage, <laughs> I think we're home free. We're gonna get this whole caravan out of here. Now I know in some countries a caravan is a camper like a trailer like they were pulling a caravan i'm using the caravan since like a long line of vehicles moving across the country Travel to the jugular. All right, back to the shop to meet the customers. So, getting them all off the hill was an ordeal, but we got them off perfectly yeah. fine. And then you know that little V-notch right there in the yeah. bottom? Yeah. One of them was parked there. So let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Oh, well, it, was, it was slick. It was bad. It was bad. It was Dude, a mess. It was bad. It was, it was bad. Super bad. We had 18 kids up there at oh. 2 a.m. last night. Yeah. No, you were good. bad. Okay, we got up there. We got them all out of there. It was not an easy feat, um, but we did it. And now, this is the group that got stuck up there the night before. Um, every, every way out was bad. And it was dark. Mm -hmm. We did it in the daylight, and yeah. every way out was bad. But we got them out of there. And uh, now we're going to go get t-shirts for the whole group, but that's in the dark, so we won't film it. And... Thanks for watching! Yeah! Woo! Chad, are you getting the traction you need? More left. Amazing. And you've stopped crashing into other Jeeps, right? For the moment, anyway. That's the kind of improvement I like to see. Thank you for doing my car, but, um, yeah, I might have another project for you. What did you do? I, uh, did that. Oh, that's not too bad. You see, Hefe? <laughs> oh, man, what the heck did you do? I got a little ahead of myself and didn't hook the trailer to the ball. Oh. Yeah. Everything else... Let me guess, then you loaded something. Yeah, I went to load the banana and the trailer went up. And then the coupler decided to kiss the tailgate. Yep. <laughs> hey Ed! What's going on? Look at right there! Wow! <laughs> Better come loose? <laughs>